So why'd you bring me out here to kill me? Yeah, I thought it was a good place <laughs> to hide a body. <laughs> Yeah, so this part of town that we're in is Palos Hills. It's about 15, 20 miles outside of Chicago. Great place to come decompress, do some mountain bike riding, hike in, walk the dog, whatever it is yeah. you want to do. Do you come out here a lot? As often as I can. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It does definitely feel outside the city. Yeah, you wouldn't know that all the craziness is 20 minutes away. So what's the startup scene feeling like and the growth scene feeling like in Chicago? Yeah. In Chicago, the startup scene for, for venture capital yeah. is, um, you know, it's maturing, it's growing, uh, it's getting better and better. Uh, we have that early VC, that A and that seed, and then we have that private equity. That gap is kind of in the middle in between uh, B and cash flow positive. So for other like CEO founders in these flyover cities that some people <laughs> may say, right? Yeah. Uh, how do they attract outside venture capital? Uh, I think it just comes down to um, understanding what the venture firms are looking for and uh, you know having empathy for their situation and being able to express your vision and what you have in, in a lens that they, that they understand. From what I see, the Valley has an incredible amount of talent um, and I think it always will for quite, quite some time. Uh, but you know some valuations are high and the reality is the Valley is not best positioned to solve all the all the modernization and digitalization problems. And so when we see more established industries like the one that we're in, um, having domain expertise is, is critical. Um, and so I think that attracts some of that valley or even that East Coast capital to uh, to markets like Chicago or other, other flyover states. Yeah. <laughs> flyover cities. <laughs> You've been on the West Coast, now in the Midwest. Is, is there a different vibe? for startups here than that you felt in other places? Just like everything, each city and state you go to kind of has its own little its own little twist. Yeah. And so that naturally rolls over to the business side of the city or state. For Chicago, what you get is, uh, you know, great, uh, you know, moral, ethical uh, boundaries, compass, uh, great work ethic. People take a lot of pride in their work. Uh, people that want to be creative and innovative, they want to be part of something special and you see a great tech yeah. ecosystem of rapidly expanding here. I'd say here in Chicago, what we need to do a better job of, and, and we try to be a catalyst for this, is give options to all team members and so we can get the tech ecosystem going. When you get into you know, the Valley, it seems like everyone's neighbor, or someone across the hall um, had, a, yeah. had a great run and they had yeah. a really successful outcome. In Chicago, you just don't see that, even though there are some successful outcomes. And, uh, so we see that in the hiring profile, and it's what the when the folks are asking. They're not asking for options. They're asking for great uh, compensation, more in traditional lens. Yep. And so we really sh uh, make sure that we we provide options to everyone, and that's that that's going to change this ecosystem. So why entrepreneurship for you? Like, why do you do this? There's a lot of a lot of other easier jobs, <laughs> right? Yes, abs absolutely. You know, 
it, it probably has to do with the background of, of, of how I uh, how I grew up. Yeah. Um, you know, for me, I, I grew up pretty pretty poor, so there wasn't there wasn't a lot to there wasn't a lot to lose. So I said, hey, why don't I just try to make it for myself? Why yeah. why wait for that corporate structure to, to kind of play in my favor? Um, I just think the the way that I'm wired, probably you always have to be honest with what your strengths and what your weaknesses are, and. When I looked at the profile of, of what what makes an entrepreneur great, it, it kind of matched what what I thought my strengths were. So tell me about Project 44, what are you guys doing? We're building the world's largest visibility platform okay. for transportation logistics. And you're doing it right here in Chicago? Right here in Chicago. Logistics, what? transportation mecca of the, of the world. Yeah, what, what is, tell me the history of that, like why is Chicago and transportation? I'd say for, for a number of reasons, the really large uh, presence of the rail here. Yep. Uh, a lot of commerce, the best talent for trucking and logistics is here. Uh, the largest truckload brokerages are here many of the largest 3PLs, the highest concentration of freight forwarders, yep. centrally located in the country, so a lot of, a lot of log logistics happening here. What's the talent like here? I mean, there's yeah. a lot of diversity of talent. There's a lot of SaaS yes. companies, there's yeah. a lot of technology companies, there's large Fortune 500s. Yes. What are you guys seeing for talent? So what we're seeing here for talent, it's just been absolutely incredible. So we're seeing some of the, the best software engineers, the data scientists, the, the SaaS sales reps, you know, the go-to-market team, marketing. Everyone that's at the company, yeah. I really candidly think that we have the top one yep. percent of all technology that's that's available anywhere globally. So uh, phenomenal talent. Why Project Forty Four? Why do you think it's great for people to come here? All of our, our tech stacks modern, so we have over forty microservices. So if you're on the engineering or data science yep. side, there's a lot of uh, really great reasons. All our data is normalized when it comes to our platform, so that's fantastic. We also are solving huge, huge problems. Uh, the problems we're solving are, are incredible on a global scale. And so whether it's the chair we're sitting in, toothpaste we use this morning, or lunch yeah. that we're going to have today, all that got there by a truck, train, or plane. So it's something that physical goods that you can also see that we're touching to make to make transport you know better, give well, that visibility. Why hasn't this happened earlier? Like, why was this hole in the market? I think technology needed to catch up. Okay. And then we need to take ideas that worked well in other industries that were probably a little bit more progressive. Yep. We need to take a few of those ideas and then we need to stitch them together um, to, for the application specifically for this, this okay. industry. So five years out, yeah. what's, what's Project 44 look like? I would like us to be on every continent. Uh, we have headquarters in, uh, here in Chicago, but we have satellite offices in other regions. Yep. And continue to have that advanced visibility solution solve problems, uh, get customers closer to uh, you know, their nirvana as they're going through their digitalization and modernization. And we're just, uh, you know, in five years, I guess we're probably going to be somewhere between three to 6,000 uh, team members. And I think we're, we have the best technology and logistics talent of any company in the world. Right here in Chicago. Right here in Chicago.